are there are two kinds of power that God has given to men. There is the one that flows through us. That one, the purpose of that one is to help the helpless. Hey, the gasata barra. Oh, Kashunda Brosoto Prate Isaiah chapter number 10, verse 27. That's what we call the anointing. And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder, his burden. That's what that power is for. Is to help whoever's burden, the enemy's burden, Satan's burden, situation's burden, to be taken off your shoulder you are under the burden of the devil under the burden of situation but then there is somebody who has this power god graciously gave some people in the body of christ to carry this power so that it will flow through them to help lift the burden off your shoulder you've been going through this thing and then here comes a man of god one word spoken prophetic word and situation changes you understand here comes a man of god that prays for you and the situation turns around and so on and so forth okay so and it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing that's the power that flows through us mind you it flows through us it doesn't flow to us it is not for us us who carry the power that's what i'm trying to say if you have this power it's not for you it's not to you it is through you like somebody has described it you are like the horse what is going through are you getting what is going on that's what the power is is to help the helpless in the body of christ those who cannot help themselves who are these helpless those who have not grown in spiritual things and i want you to listen to this because you know some people think this is how god has planned god is so merciful and so kind and so he has anointed men to always help us no yes god is kind and merciful but he did not anoint men to always help us He's, he has anointed men to help us for a period of time what period is this why we are still babies why we are still growing We've not perfected our faith. It is not God's joy that you should be victim or you should depend on anybody. But why you are still growing in your spiritual work? Why you are still a babe in spiritual things? Yes, you need someone to help you. Do you understand? You can depend on the anointing on somebody and believe that man of God. Believe his prophet and you shall prosper. Are you still out there? Because you see, there are some things Oh, God. Listen, if this is not clear, you will never grow as a Christian. That's why many Christians don't grow. That's why they don't grow. And you know what God does? Anywhere they practice this thing in their midst. In other words, helping people with the anointing and all. And that's all they focus on. And they are not building the people. People don't stay there. They cannot stay. God's people cannot stay. They will come receive and go. Come receive and go. Come receive and go. That's why those who are commanding the largest crowd are those who are teaching. They don't, they don't do too much display. They are teachers. They teach the word of God. Why? God will order people's steps to go there and grow. Because God's best is not for you to be dependent. That's not God's best. Otherwise, Jesus has failed. God wants every one of us to be masters. Do you understand? In our words. Does that therefore mean? That in a period where you have not grown, you should not cry out for help. No! Cry out for help. Otherwise, you may die before you grow. But while you are still perfecting yourself, you've cried out for help. Be working on yourself. The day comes that you cannot handle certain situations yourself. At least. You say, no, this one is a no. Don't worry. This one, I can take care of this. The devil comes into your room. The first thing you are looking for is your phone. What? You are trying to call your pastor. Sorry for you. If it's someone like me, you, you, you may not be able to call. You... you Thank God, that's why we have pastors in. So you can call any of them. They are pastors. Because once I'm on my face, busy, praying, doing whatever, no weapon. I've told you that. You think it's a joke. All this shouting, I'm shouting, I'm, I'm, I'm preaching. I'm trying to help you grow. So that you can start. Listen, 
that's God. I, I, that's God's desire. Is the topmost thing that I've been sent to to help God's people grow. You should not encounter me and not want to grow spiritually. Ah, ah, even if it's a devil jumping on your mind, not here. You want to grow? Why would you not grow? Because this is God's desire. Listen, every child that comes from a lion is a lion. How many times have I said it? That's what God is looking at. He's looking at. He says, "Ye are gods. He wants you to function as gods on earth." And you know, do not trivialize the truth. It's a truth. It's a spiritual reality. That um, you know, depending on the kind of family that you came from, uh, some challenges. You know, different family with its challenges. Some families they say something. Um, I, I, I mean, I know of a, a particular guy. The grandfather died at a certain age. The father died at the same age. And I met him and I'm seeing the same thing on him. The guy's going to die at that same age. How can you explain that? Something real is following the guy. And how? It's from the, from the family. You say, why? Ah, the connection through blood. It's called the bloodline. Is that real? It is. Now, you have to listen and listen to me. Listen hard. Listen hard. These things are real. One thing is happening in the family. You see it. There are some families that they don't ever go to school. Anyone that tries to is in trouble. They don't. He said that they get to somewhere and they stop. They can't move forward. Or they don't go at all. Or something. Anyone that's tried to push to break the limit is in trouble. He said that he dies <laughs> or he gets in trouble, lands in prison, and so on and so forth. Different families, different families. There are some, some family, the ladies, they will look for children, look for children, you know, when they get married. You know what I mean? Barren. And they have to be going up and down, up and down. There are some families struggle. They used struggle to get everything. So now, daddy struggle to get. Grandpa struggle to. Great grandpa the same thing. Now the child too has to struggle to get good things in life. These things are real. In such a case, what will you do? Uh huh. You have not grown, or you don't even you don't you don't even you don't even have time for the Bible. Where do you think you will go? You will run to those people. Somebody who is a deliverance minister. And you are hearing this kind of thing. In the midst and he's preaching it. He says, now, are they anointed of God? Of course, God sent them. That's what I'm telling you. That's the power that flows through us. And these things, different graces. There are some people, that's their area. I mean, as you come in, they can dictate a demon in your life from many miles away. They can even smell it. Why they are saying, hmm, <laughs> hmm. Somebody with demon is coming. You know that? that that's a guy's area. And then you come in like this. While you're standing there, you're seeing a lot of things happening right there. This one has this. This one is giving this one a message. You, you, he's from the village, Calabash. You know, do you notice all those things are usually connected to Calabash? And so, yeah. <laughs> it's a Calabash. It's a pot inside something, uh, you know. And all of that, you are there. And the guy is there. You can see the guy shaking or the lady shaking. The reason why you have not had baby, yes, sir, is because of the, 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 uh, it's true. Yeah, and everywhere is shaking. And your body, hey, goosebumps. Um, hey, in this place today. Are they real? Yes. What is happening? God's mercy on the helpless. And so, God is trying to help the helpless. Brothers and sisters, there's a trouble if you remain the helpless. He wants you to grow from that level to becoming a helper. That's the true nature of Jesus. So, brothers and sisters, when you load yourself with the word, <laughs> you begin to speak another language. You begin to live in another realm. That's where the second power that's the power from us. The one inside you. It flows from you. For what purpose? 
for your advantage to change your situation you don't need any pastor uh -uh. you don't need any prophet uh -uh. at this time you don't need you become the prophet of your own life you don't need any apostle anywhere uh -uh. you get in trouble you stand and you watch it go hear me i am telling you from experience there is no nonsense of blood, bloodline. Oh, boy, dear Jesus. One day, I had a vision. And I was in a place that looked like either a desert or a forest that was barren. In that vision, while I was standing, I knew it's like I was expecting someone. So, while I was standing there, I was thinking, oh, maybe i'm about to have an encounter with an angel in that vision i was expecting someone to meet me there in this desert looking place so i was thinking because that's my own mindset that's my thinking <laughs> i was thinking to have an angel of the lord maybe i'm about to have an encounter with an angel so i stood there and i was thinking am i about to have an encounter with an angel of the lord and here comes this man of course, not an angel of God. Didn't look like one. Just about the same height. I had a few white hair. Stood in front of me and said, How dare you think that I'm an angel of the Lord? And then I was watching. Then he said, I am the ancestor of your father's house. Of course, I stood there listening to the fool. <laughs> Then he said, he said, I'm going to show you many things. Now, I'm saying this to let you know that I know exactly what I'm talking about. He said, I'm going to show you many things. He said, I'm going to reveal some things to you. He said, I just want to use you. He was telling me. And I stand, I was looking. Then he got to the point. He said, he started talking about the description of the job. He said, I'm going to give you a bad mind. When he got there, I said, stop. I said no you go use someone else not me i reject you in the mighty name of jesus i said you go and use someone else i belong to jesus jesus this is what i said i said the lord is my defense i said the lord is my defense i reject you in the name of jesus go use someone else not me and then while i was talking it was popping up in my spirit i'm a new creation i belong in another class and that fool stood there helplessly speechless then I came out of that vision. Now listen. This is how some people. That's why they said some things happen in their dream. Something entered in their dream. They said they are trying to cast out the demon. How did he enter? In the dream. In the... So you see. Because he was not growing. If you have the word of God in you. It doesn't matter where you are. In the dream. In the life. The thing will still be oozing out of you. Do you understand? That's what we are telling you. You need to be tough on the inside. You need to be built. Listen to me. Listen, listen, listen. This thing I'm saying, somebody who, who is in that first group would think when they preach to you, you will almost forget about God. You will forget the power of God. You will have a focus on the greatness of these things. How could you? Do you know who God is? The devil and God are not... Listen, let it clear. The devil and God are not competing. Make no mistakes. Forget about the songs we sang when we were small. Jesus and the devil are fighting. No, nonsense song. They are not competing. The devil and God are not trying to have a battle to see who will win. Let it soak. God is the God of all. And according to the Bible, the Son of God, by the name Jesus Christ of Nazareth, defeated the devil. And he did it eternally. So the devil is completely, permanently under our feet. Those of us that will believe it and stay with it. Do you, are you still here? So it's an insult trying to think like, you know, maybe it's the power of God against the power of darkness. It's an insult. It's for the junior class. 
when you grow up either and you understand the word of god you understand your role listen you don't even, oh god dear jesus christ oh a man one day was bragging and talking against the archbishop benson daosa of late memory and was talking and he said he's a witch and he, he was telling that man of god he said don't worry i will deal with you even god will not be able to help you the archbishop said you are right god will now will do it myself you don't need god <laughs> you see why because the archbishop thought he was belittling god god you don't need god me i'm enough that's how the word of god wants us to think that's the mindset you alone you are enough to put the devil to flight now god do something what will you do you know please god god where is he he's on the inside of you today if you will believe this there's no nonsense no rubbish there's the one thing is pursuing you the problem is if you have not grown you may have it actually happen yes and that's why christians have it happen why they've not grown instead of you to be growing and come out and <laughs> glory to god <laughs> listen i'm not of this world i i i i i have so fought it thought about this thing you you can't give me a prophecy you understand you cannot prophesy or prophet lie to me against what i believe in god's word it doesn't matter your long cap uh, uh, it has to be consistent with this book how did you get there if you ask i'll tell you the word of god the word of god i was not like this though <laughs> I was not i used to be fearful i'm telling about me i used to be fearful i used to believe everything i used to have a lot of superstitions i used to believe them until god's word did something to me and then i chose i it's a choice i chose to believe what i find in the bible i you know when i study i'm full of emotions as i study ah Cobra has the key to shut. Can you pray in the Holy Ghost? Let's go. See Rabba Labo Soko Rabba. Iba Shata Bagarato Soto. See Rabba Raka Laba Shata. Hallelujah. Hear me. What they call patterns and the likes, they have power over your life as you permit them. They have power over your life as you allow them. The devil will, of course, come to you. I help you plot the graph. Are you not sure it's not it's not it's not the same thing that's happening to my daddy that is now beginning to happen to me? He's helping, and then you meditate on it. You meditate on it, it becomes a real reality. And then you can't come out of it. <laughs> then the place of Jesus in your life is not real. So why do we say we are Christians? Why do we say we are children of God? Why do we say we have the Holy Spirit? What is he doing there? What, what is the place of the word of God? If our life is like this, we are helpless. What? What? What is it? What's wrong? Is God real? Is he powerful at all? If a pattern that is affecting those who are not born again or they are born again, they are ignorant. What is the pattern? They are trying to tell you something that is orchestrated by demons. Demons. What are demons? These are subjects. Angels of Satan. Who is Satan? Satan is a guy that one time, over 2,000 years ago, was defeated by our lord jesus christ the bible did not hide it he defeated satan rendered him powerless as far as our kingdom is concerned he is powerless 
That's Satan. And so, which means is the highest thing in the realm of darkness. You see that? And so, you have these little demons trying to make the same thing, the same pattern happen in your life. They say, well, it's a, it's a result of blood. It's blood life. Listen! What does the Bible say? Which were born. It says, not of blood. Did you never read that? Not of the will of the flesh. John, John chapter number one. Some of you are looking at me like, well, what am I talking about? <laughs> Let's begin from the ninth verse. <laughs> that was the true light which lighted every man that coming into the word. He was in the word, and the word was made by him, and the word knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, as many as received him, to them gave he power. The word there is the right. He gave them the right to become the sons of God. Even to them that believe on his name. Next verse. Which waves, ones that believe, were born, not of blood. What is he telling you? He's trying to let you know that you do not hold your birth to blood. So what does that mean? Whatever it is, the nonsense that is coming through blood. They say it's the spirit from blood. Well, I was not born of blood. Glory to God! <laughs> Which were born, not of blood. What were they born of? He says, not of the will of man, of the will of flesh. Not of man, will of man, but of God. We are sons of God. That's what the Bible shows. Do you think when you, do you think these things are just written there so that you can have money devotion and you read it and say, hey, hallelujah. Oh. What? These are real stuff. God communicated his mind. In the scriptures, you are supposed to take it as it is. Well, I've not believed it. Keep meditating. You believe it. Keep looking into it and meditating. It's because of your bloodline. Which bloodline? You know, we trace it to your lineage. What lineage? I don't belong in that lineage. Trust me. When you get down, you will land at Abraham. <laughs> Glory to God. You think that Jesus wants to show up to take us up for rapture? And then he shows up and then he's still trying to drag those who are queuing up for deliverance. You, you think that's what? No, 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 no. No. Otherwise, all of us will be babes. We all babes. We just enter with Jesus. No. No. The Bible says, Ephesians chapter number four, written from the 11th verse. I want you to see the mind of God very clearly here. And he gave some apostles, and some prophets, and some evangelists, and some pastors, and teachers. To be casting out devils and deliverance sessions. Watch this. For the perfecting. Can, can you see God's original dream? For the perfecting of the saints. For the work of the ministry. For the edifying of the body of Christ. Next verse. Till we all come in the unity of faith. And of the knowledge, epignosis of the Son of God. Unto a perfect man. The word perfect there is teleos. It means mature in spiritual things. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Say hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. Listen. By the power of the spirit of God you are growing. In the name of Jesus. You are going to become spiritual giants. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will never be small again. You will never remain babies. Your faith is coming up. Your faith is alive. Your faith is working. In the name of Jesus. Pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Libarata la bashata bagarata lise. Libarata la bashanta la bahasi. I'm going to become spiritual giants. A spiritual giant. A spiritual giant in the kingdom of God. Liga rota zanda brande lo brehete. Rata la brasha. Rete kusa. Keratele. And the loser. 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 I'm growing. I'm growing. In my face. I'm growing. To become a spiritual giant. I'm growing. The word of God is working. In my spirits. Lego shata baha. Mamra gala.